What's up guys, back at it again with another episode of Max Garage, and in this episode, I got a thing in the box, I'm going to show you guys what it is, right? Now, if you're reading the title, you already know what it is, so, um, if you guys want to know, I won't lie, I'm not going to lie. Nothing off camera in there. Just a card, just this. Got my little knife. Listen to this shit. I shit loud. I had one of my brother in laws working in a knife factory and he gave me this for my birthday. Thank you, Joey. Now, um, I heard there's a company called. Non-stop racing, and honestly, they look like a cool company. I'm not gonna lie. And on their website, it says a 06 to a 15 uses the same pulley wheel. Now, what I'm assuming is non-stop racing and Aerospeed are the only companies I know that make one for my motor. So, if you're looking for a pulley, Aerospeed and non-stop racing. Uh, not stop racing has an Instagram page you can follow them and you can work out how to get it from them. But I got it from Aerospeed because not stop racing, it just looks really aluminum, it looks really basic, real simple. And they do little pulleys for the alternator, it's nice, but the motherfuckers are already light, to be honest, they're already light now. Hold on, look at it. Don't miss in here. It's got little papers. And that green thing you're looking at? It's nothing. It's a little box. Social skills, motor skills. <laughs> All right. Look at it. Okay, first off, what the fuck is that? Maybe it's a flaw in the design. All right, so what do I see? It has a little pinch in it. Um, when I was looking up these on eBay, <clears throat> there was different varieties of these. They all said Aerospeed uh, 06 to 15 or 06 to 11. Anywho, they had different styles. Now, when I went on Instagram or YouTube, no, I went on YouTube and I looked up Aerospeed and I saw some other videos. Like I had this exact same one and it looked legit. And comparing it to the other ones you got, like the other ones on our eBay, uh, yeah, this style looks the most legit, most freshest letters. I look for little shit like that when I buy on eBay because eBay, once you see that picture, that is exactly what you are going to get. They'll say it's for a Corolla 07, whatever, and it'll be for an Accord. And you didn't cash that because you didn't look at the picture. You just looked at the name. Stuff like that happens. All right. So, what's going on? Why did I get this? Because when I do my whole exhaust system, the the header pipe, the down pipe, the two resonators I'm going to put in, the muffler from FKX, and I'm going to get a, I want to get a flex pipe. I don't want to get the little ones like where it's all threaded together. I want to get the ones that kind of like, it's like that. It's like little ends right there. It's like that. So, it kind of like. You get me a flex? I want that one. Because I've seen a lot of headers break on the R18. That headers break right there up on the top, like where the exhaust port's at, right there. And I'm trying to avoid that. And I think a good solution would be get a flex pipe. So I got all, I want to get all of that. Well, I got all of that. I just need a little flex pipe. Um, I got my special one take that's going to turn my cold air into a ram. And I got my K tuner. <clears throat> got this and I just need to get my brakes bled and an alignment and then I'm off to the fabricator so he could weld my whole fucking exhaust together and after the fabricator I'm gonna take my car out drive it very very slow and I'm gonna get it to the tuner and he's gonna work his magic and yeah so those are my plans that's what I want to do that's what I'm trying to do and yeah oh let me explain something real quick um these things, they don't can break your motor. It's They will break your motor. It's just a matter of time. Now, me, I'm going to go through my motor within a few years. So, 
for me, if my motor lasts me, oh, fucking like eight years, seven years, I think it's going to be fine. I don't beat on my car that hard. You know, I don't drive all stupid, like downshifting and truck. I'm more just driving straight, cruising. If I see an opportunity, I'll take it, you know? I whip, I whip that shit, I have fun with it, but I don't push it every day. And yeah, um, got this one, arrow speed. Let me read you this shit, what it says. It says, high performance, lightweight, uh, T6061. That's an aluminum. 6061, that's an aluminum brand. So anytime you see that, 6061, aluminum. Um, hardened aluminum pulley. Yeah, see? Uh, high performance, lightweight, T6061, hardened aluminum pulley. It's still cast iron. You drop this, it might break. So, people, it's not steel. You hear it? Let me show you this shit one more time. <clears throat> yeah, man. Uh, now, why am I doing all of this? I'm doing I'm doing all of this so you guys could see what happens. I can make the car straight pipe and get, like, 10 more extra horsepower out of it probably. I don't know. I want to daily this shit. I want that shit being able to turn on and not bug the fuck out of the neighbors. I want to be able to hit it hard sometimes. And I don't want it to be stupid, stupid loud. Because I heard uh, one guy had this car straight pipe. 2014, same as mine. Alex, same as mine. Straight pipe. Header. And just from the header, straight back. Boom. And that shit was so loud, I, I couldn't even believe it. I was like, this is the loudest thing I ever heard. So... Trying to take some precautions. I don't want to be that loud. Still want to have the cat back. Still want to be free. I want to have more torque. I want that shit on demand. So, yeah, I'm doing all this so you guys don't have to do all this. So, you can just see this video and watch me do it and see what you're going to get out of it. And, yeah. Oh, uh, real quick for whoever is listening or whatever. I had an R18Z1, the one stock, you know, that came with the car and everything. With the transmission and i changed the transmissions out and everything and the motor was still the same and that car was always responsive always fucking good man it's a two-step boom boom it's in vtec and it's locked and it goes i put the z4 in and it's a little different like it hooks it does the same thing but it feels like my old motor something about it i don't know if it was because i babied that bitch every day and i let it warm up and i just I don't know, I'm driving this one. It's not the same, man. I changed the oil so many times. Not the same, man. But yeah, so if you watch this video, I think the Z1, if you don't have a tune, is a better motor for the 2014. So if you ever blow your motor, whatever, da da da, and you see a Z4 and you're like, it fits, it will fit. But my preference is get a Z1. I R18 Z1, stick that bitch back in there. I think your motor will do a lot better. And if somebody has something else to say, please make a video, and I will watch it because I look up R18 videos, and I always look up different stuff, trying to find new stuff. And if you guys must know, uh, I know a shitload about the K24, K20, same basic fucking motor. I know how to tear it apart, open it up, everything, blah, blah, blah. The reason I'm doing this for R18 is because there's no fucking videos on R18. There's nothing on the R18. So, like I said, I'm doing all this because I want to find out. I want to find out. I'm going to fucking find out in English. Because everybody who fixes these motherfuckers doesn't speak or say shit to the fucking thing. Or they go turbo and they break the fucking motor because the pistons can't take it. Because after you hit over 200, those pistons will bend. So you got to keep it under 200. If you want to go 220, you're, you'll be fine for a while. But that shit's going to bend. Regardless, I don't give shit what anybody says. Yeah. So if you want to turbo your fucking Honda... Just open it up, take the pistons out, put some bigger pistons in. You might have to bore the motor out. Though it's not expensive, people. It's like two hundred bucks. If you have a good motor shop and you live in California, somewhere in Los Angeles, trust me, you can't get it done. But always try to find one of an Instagram page, someone to work behind them. Cause don't take that shit to a regular shop, cause you might put that piston in, and you'll have a big old ring gap. But yeah, next time I'm just having fun, doing my thing, and yeah, people. That's it. Till next time. Uh, next video will probably be uh, at the fabricator shop. That'll probably be the next video. Because uh, that would be the next step.
and I don't even know. That fabric cable just might make me the exhaust. I might put some V-bands on it, and I just might put it all in the fucking car and just take it home. And I might fucking throw all the fucking parts on myself right here where the tuna shop is very close, and I can just drive it there. I'll figure it out. But, yeah. Uh, I made 10 minutes. Hopefully, this video, when I post it up, it's not the little screen. Screen, man. And yeah. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Yeah, people, I've been working out. Mm. I'm able to fill up a large shirt now. Deuces.